when a coral is growing right next to a seaweed, there is this sort of microscopic battle going on and they're literally fighting each other. And that battle takes up a lot of energy. In 2016, NOAA researchers were doing surveys up in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, and these are regular surveys that they were doing to look at the fish communities, at the benthic invertebrates, things like that. Um, and at that time, they found um, small clumps of a new alga that hadn't been seen before. So it was noted at that time, um, but we didn't know much about it at that point. Last summer, in 2019, they went back up and they were resurveying in these areas and they found that this alga had increased incredibly in abundance. So all of a sudden, it was at this abundance that was very alarming, overtaking large parts of the reef at Pearl and Hermes Atoll. I think what makes this really concerning is that it's very rare, it's, it's very alarming to find that there's something that is behaving like an invasive species. This is a nuisance seaweed. and we don't have a name for this alga. That's rare. You don't typically find something coming into an environment and causing this level of alarm and simply not knowing what it is or where it might have come from. They take up space that otherwise would have been available for a baby coral to start growing and form the next generation. And so they kind of usurp space and they're very good at that because they can grow very rapidly. It's the last place you would expect a problem like this. And so if it could happen here, then the take home message is it could happen anywhere. It could happen in Honolulu or Hawaii Island or Maui. If something like this got back to Waikiki or anywhere in the main Hawaiian Islands, it would be a ecological disaster, but also an economic disaster. You can imagine what that would do to tourism to have an algae like this overgrowing the reefs.